Um, last night, the personal self disappeared. Mm. And there was a void. 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 Uh, mm -hmm. And um, one, like a thought came that said, this is what you've been waiting for. Mm. And this other part freaked out, sort of mm. got very scared. Mm. And um, mm. to be honest, it felt like I couldn't, I couldn't handle it. Mm. And it started to try to bring mm. back. Mm. Which one are you? Well, I'm neither. I, I, I think I understand that I am the void. If you can perceive the void, and the perception of the void will be something phenomenal. You cannot be that. Well, it, it, if if it is, as I said yesterday, if it is only a mental reflection of a void uh, which is beyond the concept of void, it's just a space. It's your own self painting an image of itself in the mind, so that it can comprehend itself somehow. Uh, what am I going to say? No. Hmm. Okay, you are neither of those things. The, sen the sense of the personal sense, the personal self, it was not felt. In the absence of the person, uh, what was there, you say a sense of void. So both void and the absence of a uh, person was perceived. It didn't mm. feel like a sense of, it was as if this, this is really what I am. Yes, what, it, the void? Sorry, like um, this emptiness. This emptiness, yes. Okay. But it felt, to be honest, I, I like, didn't like it. You didn't like it. it? It felt very cold. Very? Very cold and empty. Yes, yes. But yes. not like this is emptiness, but just that there was like nothing. Yes. Yes. That also was a phenomenal representation, a phenomenon uh, of the self. Sometimes people, I've heard uh, also one nun was saying to someone, don't go for this self-realization. Don't go for self-realization, because when you go there, you end up in the vastness, which is like endless darkness, and it's cold, and nothing is there. You see, uh, now she said, no, no, I don't want to go. Uh, maybe the Buddhas have more stomach than me, I can't go there. But that is not it. It is not it. Perhaps that is the mind's reaction, somehow, painting a reaction of, oh, it's that. It was something in the mind. It is not. It is not a phenomenon. It almost is the absence of phenomenon. It was absence. Yeah. So if it's absence, what's there to be fear, afraid of? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Maybe still there was a reaction in the mind that, oh, this is vast and and cold or something, yeah. and you are you have to be aware of that reaction and still recognize I am not that reaction also. That's also just a sensation, you know. You just remain in that in that uh, state, boundless uh, state, imageless. Yeah, I couldn't state. stay there. You couldn't stay there. I couldn't. I mean, I didn't. Who who want was there to stay there? The it was like I. Tr it, Okay, I was sort of disappointed in myself, but to be honest, I I made myself start to think again, mm. yes. so that and then this I, person, this one, is not uh, is still uh, a mind. Yeah, it's still mind yeah. uh, and being. Nothing is ever totally mind. Mind is also aspect of being, and this is why it feels perhaps so confusing because it still has the quality of being. It's felt. You see, but uh, also uh, the feeling. Uh, yes, I was there, and I didn't like it. I just felt like I want to get out. This I is not the self. Is the vastness the self? The vastness that is seen by the mind is not the self. The vastness in which the mind is seen is the self. Yes. So that was it then. Uh. That which is spoken of as was is not it. Was. 
It is ever present even now. Not as a phenomenon that can be seen. The mind cannot see it. The mind can see its own projections about it and then fear or be attracted to those projections. But neither the projections nor the projector is it. They are merely images in the consciousness which is without form, which is what is. The fear was something of my mind. Mind will continue presenting images that the, the consciousness that is identified with matter will feel concerned and worried about. But all of these are just movements, effects inside the greater consciousness. Mm -hmm. You are the greater consciousness slowly waking up to its own greatness, but along the way taking little pockets of information to be real and then being momentarily distracted by something and delay your own seeing. It's like I ask you to look in the mirror and you ask, how does it work? I say, just look. And then you're looking at the frame. Oh, I like this mirror, it's very nice. You look at the frame. I say, no, not the frame. Look in the mirror. I say, mm. We are looking at only the, the ideas that the mind has about freedom, and this is why this fearful picture comes. It says, how about this? You go, oh, oh, oh. I better get out. That's not it. The, rea the one reacting, the apparent one who is reacting to seeing the self as, of, as this void and feeling cold, mm, both that image of the void and the image of the one perceiving it are both images in consciousness. You are that consciousness. But still, it is still holding too much onto the body identification, so all the information is stopping at the bodily identification. All the readings and the projections are stopping short at the body projection, which is out there, the in body, the real space. Eh? The body was just like, sort of like just hanging there. Yes, the body is there, but the mind has an image of the body also beyond the body in the mind. Hmm. Sometimes you're living more with the image of yourself in the mind. It's like I go to meet you, and then you take out your photo album and you start to show me pictures of you. But I say, but you're here. I say, yeah, but when I was 16, no, but you're here. I want to meet you now. We are looking constantly to the, the, the way the mind represents the truth and the way the mind represents you. So you're saying this was a mental representation and not an actual. No, the effect was good, but the interpretations are not true. The interpretation created some dichotomy, and then somehow you, you felt that, uh, wait a minute, I don't like this experience. And rather than uh, somehow uh, allowing all of these images to just be what they are, images, but holding on to your self-awareness itself, giving attention to just being aware, something got pulled into the drama of what was arising, the effects in what is arising, mm. you see. So, okay. just uh, continue. It will come again, maybe like that. Then don't identify with anything at all. Don't even say I am awareness. Just be the awareness. You are there, the awareness, like you are now also. Your most truthful place is as awareness, not as the mind, which is inclined to remember things and forget things and change and interpret and misinterpret and all of that. These functions, you will rule them because they are your your powers. You'll understand them, but know that they all report to the higher consciousness, which has no story, has no ambition, has no intention, has no aspiration, has no concept of being perfect or imperfect. Is falling toward the ocean.
ですね。